Hey, good morning everyone. Happy Wednesday. Dan here. I'm going to do a walkthrough Wednesday on this beautiful Montana 377 FL. The FL stands for front living. I want to show you quite a few of the features on the outside and then we'll go check out the really cool stuff on the inside, okay? So, first thing you'll notice is a really nice big powered awning on the outside that does have LED lights under and then you're going to see your pair of outdoor speakers up here solid steps i talk about these a lot in the videos i have uh two corgis these are fantastic for those little guys they're also just more stable coming up and out of the camper they do have legs at the bottom that you can adjust if you're slightly uneven these right here will adjust to allow you to get correct leverage let's go back here to the back as with all montanas you've got a ton of storage inside but you also have a ton of storage outside so if you'll check here, you have a very large storage area here. Around the back, you'll note we have a fully walkable roof, so you do have a ladder. This makes it super nice and convenient to get up there, do your yearly maintenance, check all your seals, make sure your air conditioner is good. We come to yet more storage. And something unique with this layout is you actually have a rear side door, which I'll show you once we go on the inside. So let's go take a look on the inside. Okay, so we're inside that 377 FL front living, and this is your front living, and it is absolutely awesome. Number one, I wanna note, I'll talk about it throughout, is the new collars that they've done in the Montanas. They're lighter, they're brighter. I mean, I think they've really knocked it out of the ballpark on this one. So in this living area, you've got your theater seats. These do recline. You've got the little cup holder slash divider so you can get some space from the spouse. You have couches on both sides. I don't know how you want to position yourself to see those. Both of those do fold out into a bed. So that's going to give you ample sleeping space up here. And then directly in front of all of this seating, your TV is hidden right here. So if you're at a campground, you can people watch, or maybe you have a beautiful view like we do of the lake. But if you want to chill in the evening, watch TV, this bad boy rolls up. You do have your fireplace down here. I've talked about those a lot in the videos. They are run on electric, so you're not going to use any of your propane. You can just turn the light on and have a little ambiance in here, but that will definitely take the chill out of the air on like those early morning, early in the season morning camping or evening camping. Plenty of storage here. You'll also know that your Montana comes with your quiet cool. So what's great about this, you can be sitting in here, you can be nice and cool and comfortable, but it's not gonna be super loud. So you're gonna be able to hear the TV or you're gonna be able to hear your guests talking. So now we'll go down here into the kitchen area. I really like some of the touches that they've done on this unit, like this little booth area. So you can actually sit here, have your morning coffee, have breakfast, be talking to whoever's being nice and prepping that breakfast for you. Cute little area. The kitchen is really nice and big. You have like a, I think you'd call that a 70-30 split stainless steel sink. You do have a detachable sprayer. These are great for when somebody makes you mad, you can spray them. Lots and lots of counter space. And Greer, come around here and show you've got more counter space down below. You've got your three burner stove, stainless steel microwave, more cabinet space, and we also have a residential sized stainless steel refrigerator. So this is gonna give you a ton of space in here. And if we didn't already have enough storage, guys, I was telling you the Montanas are awesome for that. You have a whole set of cabinets over here. You could use as a pantry, you could store board games. I mean, basically anything you want in there. Freestanding dinette, great place to sit and have coffee in the morning or dinner, whatever. Plenty of windows so you can see around you. And now let's go back towards the back of the unit. I'm gonna save the best for last. I'll let you peek in there, Greer. You have a nice sit down shower. These are fantastic for the ladies to be able to shave their legs or if you just wanna chill in there, take a nice relaxing shower. Your sink, you have storage below the sink as well as in your medicine cabinet. And of course we have a toilet, which is kind of mandatory for a nice bathroom. One of the cool things before we get to the bedroom, and Greer, I'll let you go up there, is this really cool loft area. I think this is a cool place to stay. Go ahead and go up there, Greer. Really cool area. And what's nice about it is you do have your AC here. So kiddos or whoever's staying up here is gonna stay cool. 
plenty of room up there actually for adults. You have storage space along the back as well as charging ports and stuff in the back. So you're gonna stay cool, you can stay powered, you got plenty of room for your stuff, and it's actually a really spacious area. This is directly above my favorite part of this camper, which is the bedroom. We come back here to the bedroom, you're gonna see we have our nice big king size bed which does have storage underneath. You've got a cabinet off to the side. You do have little nightstands on both sides of the bed with charging on one side. You have a massive closet over here. It's gonna give you plenty of space for basically anything and everything you need. And if that wasn't enough, you have drawers directly in front of the bed. Don't fall on me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you have drawers directly in front of the bed. So what my wife and I do, we don't have this model, but we have drawers like this, is we just actually set our TV on here. We watch our TV when we're in transit someplace and the slide is in, we just put the TV on the bed and we're good. So guys, there you have it. Another walkthrough Wednesday. This is the Montana 377 FL. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys think about it.